all pretty much all these parcels all around the city. This proposal will solve some of those problems. We'll, we probably will get better medical access. We probably will get better stores. We'll get better restaurants. But we're going to get a lot more traffic. We're going to get a lot more congestion. If it's done correctly, I think there's a lot of uh, opportunities for the county. Their uh, uh, tax revenue base will increase quite a bit. So there's going to be a big windfall from that. Uh, property values will probably go up around here as well. But again, I think you're giving up a quality of lifestyle that you're that's kind of unique to this area. You don't really have this uh, a whole lot of other places. So it's all along here, it's all federally protected. It's such a beautiful place. I mean, it's a huge land grab surrounding our Air Force Base, and it was a bit scary because no one knew who it was. And so finding out who it was, you know, although it's good to know who the man behind the curtain is, it doesn't change, you know, the stance of our need to protect our Air Force Base and to preserve our ag land. The better thing would be to approach our city leaders and work with us within our city boundaries, not to create a new city. I think that endeavor is uh, a bit self-motivated with their own end goal, which is to create um, a new playground for who they want there versus what the needs of our residences are and our community members.